All right, I got another delivery today. I got a uh, CGC box, so you know you know what that means. I got some slabs, so I don't remember what I sent in because it takes so long for you to get the, to get the books back. But uh, we'll do two at a time, and I'll conceal the grades, and then we'll reveal the grades. Let me know if you like these CGC unboxings because I did a bunch of them already. If you want me to keep doing them, we'll, we'll go ahead with it. But um, I got another box today, so let's get to it. Two at a time. That's how we do it here. Two at a time for your visual pleasure. All right, I covered up the grades because uh, I thought it might be a little interesting. Uh, surprise you guys, right? But uh, my local shop had a bunch of these for cover price. And I think I bought like uh, five or six of them. Like and subscribe if you like the content here. And I tried to send in the ones I thought were high grade. So obviously this is a new book. I'm going for nine eights here. I mean, these things are uh, contemporary books. But I love this thing, actually. It's Robert Kirkman book. That's what I got. Oh, I missed. Bruh. All right. Still might be like a $100 book or something. Or I can wait it out. Oh, another nine. I thought I got two nine. I got two nine sixes. There's a collector's edition with the main characters turning around. And that's worth a couple hundred bucks. But this is just a regular cover A. And I had another one here. And I had this Hawkeye. I had this Hawkeye book from when the TV show was coming out on uh, Disney Plus. That's how long ago I sent this in. I think it was like a year and a half ago. And this was gonna be my quick flip. It turned into a two year flip. And I don't think, uh, I don't think this book uh, held up very well, right? I was gonna get rid of the Hawkeye stuff. Don't! But the Oblivion songs, you really need a 9-8. But it's kind of cool, it's like a sphere. Aliens have this little sphere and the guy has his brother missing in, inside the sphere. And he's hunting him down. I got a 9.4 on that book. That Hawkeye looks great. The white page, right? Uh, oh, another 9.6? Come on! All right, I got two more books. Two more books. Here we go. I used to love these Indiana Jones books that were based off of the movie series. And I don't know how it did, how well it sold. I think John Byrne wrote these. But we have Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, and then Raiders of the Lost Ark was the one that I really liked. And some of them are based on the movies, but then they go, he goes on other adventures. And I, th I thought these things were great. I used to love when I was a little kid. So uh, I bought a bunch of these, and um, let's see what we got here. Oh! I think you got to get that high. I was trying to get over nines. You know, I grabbed out the books that thought were over a nine. Oh, that one almost got it. But there's another book in here that really has some big value. I think it's number two. And I had it, but I had really read it, and it was really worn. Oh, here it is on the left. This book has some value right here. This is a banger. So, um, but I really read the heck out of these books, and I beat them up a little bit. And it's a newsstand, but man, this one had some, uh, I think it was a couple hundred bucks if it's over a nine. Do it! Do it! But, um, and then I had a Captain America book that was in, looks like it was in good shape, Captain America and Falcon. And I think that show was coming out, so I just grabbed it, I thought I would slab it. It looked like a high grade book, but, uh, my grading skills are lacking here. So I was trying to get over a nine. Oh! Denied. I don't know if that was worth slabbing. Bruh. Oh, come on. Denied. This book I read the heck out of it, though, so it got beat up. So I don't know if I should have slabbed that even. Probably not worth it. But it's kind of cool this just to see your uh, book slabbed. And on the left, we got another Fantastic Four. I'm pretty sure this is a John Byrne was on the uh, Fantastic Four run. And on the right, that Captain America, I think that's a Mike Zek cover. And when I saw it, it looked mint. It was really popping off the page. And I said, oh, let me try to see if I can get a uh, high grade on this thing. Um, I mean, these aren't keys or anything. But you can watch other channels. Other channels are showing you AF, AF um, 15s and ASM 300s. Oh, here we go. Now I know. Monster kill. On this channel, we're showing you average books. 
right? This is the quality content you guys deserve. Oh, no, I just missed a 9.8 on that. This is the content you want. You want average books, man. You don't want to see those ASM 300s and those same keys over and over again. This is the channel where you get the average book slabbed. Well, maybe they shouldn't have even been slabbed. All right, this is Savage She-Hulk number two on the right. And Sensational She-Hulk on the left is the last issue. So that last issue was really about a fourth wall. She's breaking down the fourth wall, to homage to the first issue. And I think John Byrne was on that run, wasn't he? And this is before Deadpool. She was really doing that Deadpool shtick. And on the right was number two. It was in good shape. So I thought uh, I'd send that in. I thought I'd see if I can get a high grade on that. And my other videos... Ah! Oh, my other videos, I had number one. If you see my other videos, I sent in number one and I got a... Oh, that, that uh, Sensational almost got a 9-8 uh, there. That was legitness. I had them cleaned and pressed. But I guess some of these books just weren't cutting it. All right, now, now, now my memory's getting hazy here. Why did I send these books in? Bruh. All right, that Incredible Hulk. I think John Byrne is on. The, he's doing everything in the '80s, right? I think he's on this run too. Incredible Hulk 317. But this black cover, I know it's hard to get these. It just looks so good, like it was in good shape. So I thought it was over a 9-0. And that Spider Woman. I forgot what it was. Something was going on with Spider Woman, wasn't it? Was she's fighting a uh, Tigra? <laughs> So what's happening with these books? I can't remember. Oh, 9-2. You really need like a 9-8 on these books though, man. Because these aren't keys. Oh. It's kind of fun though to go through your collection and see, look for high grade books and try to get them slabbed. All right, New Mutants. I had this whole run. When this came out, Chris Claremont was on it, mid 80s. I just, I collected like this whole run. But I was going through them. They were all beat, beat up. So I was just trying to grab the ones that were, I was trying to grab the ones that were high grade. So what I got here. Oh, I'm too close to the camera. You can't see the uh, grades. <laughs> so you guys got to like and subscribe, but you can't see the grades. Okay, there you go. Backed up. Look how scared that guy is. He's about to be, uh, that native is about to take him out. Who is that cannonball on the bottom right of the comic there? That native is about to do him in, huh? Look at him. Look how scared he is. There's another nine ho. I had number one and I had the new magic. I had the first magic. And the Deadpool and the Cable, but I saw, I got rid of those a long time ago. But these are the remaining uh, New Mutants here, and I had the whole run. Oh, look at 300. This book's awesome. Even though this is more of a modern book, this is a beautiful wraparound cover. Frank Miller, right? I swear to God, this has to be high grade. Oh, I missed a 9 8. I'm telling you, they're not giving out 9 8s anymore. CDC is getting tough. So 9 6 is a new 9 8. Look at that wraparound cover. 9-6 is the new 9-8. That's gonna be the uh, the theme of this video. So uh, let me know if I missed it as I go through these. I'm just going through these kind of quick. Let me know if I miss anything because I don't think any of these were really keys, but you can see that on other channels. On other channels, guys, you can see the keys and the fancy books and the Hulk uh, 181s. We don't do that here, okay? We do the average Joe books. And we slab those for your entertainment. <laughs> All right, so that was kind of a cool video, right? That was kind of fun. What was that, like 20 books or something? And I think I still have some more books at CGC. I just haven't received them yet. Bruh. But when I get them in, let me know if you guys uh, like this kind of content, these unboxings. Uh, this is the remainder of my collection. I was just slabbing some of the ones I thought were high grade. So like and subscribe if you like the content here. And check out my other videos. And let me know what kind of content you guys want to see here. And if I missed anything in the video, also let me know below, right? I try to go pretty quick and uh, show you the books up close and get out of the screen uh, so you can see the books. That was legitness. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, like and subscribe if you like the content here. And let me know if you like these unboxings. And go to my channel. Check out my other videos, all right? I'll check you guys out next time.